Here's everything we know about Jackson State's Deion Sanders. Sanders spent 14 years in the NFL, both as a player and then an analyst. He was previously the head football coach at Trinity Christian. The quarterback of his state championship winning offense at Trinity Christian was his own son, Shador Sanders. His nickname, Primetime, was given to him in high school after scoring 30 points in a basketball game. Sanders also played Major League Baseball and is the only athlete to hit a home run and score a touchdown in the same seven-day week. Sanders hosts a podcast on Barstool Sports called 21st and Prime. He was named the head coach at Jackson State in September 2020. The president of Jackson State sat down with the Clarion Ledger to talk about Dion's impact a year after the hiring announcement. If you talk about the social media impact and just the uh, publicity impact, it's in the tens of millions. Mm. Uh, just in terms of the publicity we've gotten, the free media we've gotten, uh, just the boost to the JSU brand and name recognition. You know, we're second among all HBCUs in terms of our social media presence. And that's certainly due in part uh, to having a Coach Prime you know, on staff and, and as a part of the JSU family. In November 2021, Coach Prime underwent foot surgery. For what? That's still a mystery, but maybe not for long. Sanders and Barstool Sports are set to release a documentary on February 22nd about Sanders' surgery and the complications he faced after. He missed three games and was hospitalized for nearly a month while recovering. In a promo for the documentary, a doctor tells Sanders he could lose his leg. On the first day of the early signing period, Deion Sanders signed the number one recruit in the country, a first for historically black colleges and universities all over the country. Uh, it's truly, we, we just provided him with an option. Um, the, the worst thing that uh, the other schools could have should have done is allowed Travis to come to our homecoming. When he came to an HBC homecoming, <laughs> straight you know. It, oh baby, the pageantry, the, the, it was just over. Uh, it just seeing 60,000 of your people yelling and screaming for the right cause, it, it provoked something inside of him and that, that provoked change. And his parents were so excited and elated when he made the decision. Uh, and what he's done, he's changed the whole thought process of young collegiate athletes coming to HBCUs or just uh, FCS schools in general. The move garnered attention from the sports world, including another former NFLer, Terrell Owens. To go into uh, that young man's home who looks like him and then obviously have the conversation with his mom, like you said, there's no, there's not a white coach that can go into a black man's home and do that, what Dion did. And, and did. so and, that's and very and special.